a cross, an empty cross, means he is risen. Yes, Jesus was risen. Hello, hello, hello. It's me again, Helimar Helpers. Stay out at your service. Thank you for the like, subscribe, and share. Yes, indeed. Jesus was risen. And right now, he is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Every time someone is dying, they ask, what are their last words? Ano ang kanilang habilin? So the same with Jesus. He gave us words. He gave us inspiring word that make us strong in this life as we go to our daily life we got able to remember his suffering we got able to remember his word these are the encouraging word or phrases or sentence that Jesus had said before he died one is while he is being mocked and ridiculed by the soldiers he said in Luke 23 verse 34 father forgive them for they not know what they are doing so Jesus forgave even in the midst of his suffering there is a forgiveness he knew how to forgive for us if we are the one who is being ridiculed or muck we will fight back but Jesus set an example but we must have to forgive those who are doing wrong to us. We must also forgive ourselves. Sometimes the best enemy is ourself. If we have done wrongdoing, we have to forgive ourselves because Jesus himself offered forgiveness. As you forgive others, forgives yourself. The second promise of God or praises before he died, he said to the thief, Today you will be with me in paradise. That is in Luke 23:43. That is a promise that he told not only to the thief but also to us that we will be with him in the paradise if we will continue to obey and stay in his promises follow his word we must remember what he done on the cross we must remember instead of us hanging on the cross he died for he did for us he hung he allowed himself to be hung on the cross third word or promise 
that Jesus spoken to her mother Mary woman behold thy son we can read that in John 19 verse 26 which means there is a commitment he's telling His mother and his brother in flesh to look after each other to care each other so same way for the other people who are dying who are in the dead bed they are telling to those people that are living behind you need to take care of each other if I'm gone you need to continue loving each other same way did Jesus Christ is telling to his mom when I'm gone don't be sorrow because I'm going to my father when I'm gone John is with you so continue loving if you love me yeah you love my brother John same with you John you need to love Mary so same with us that's the reason he said love one another So continue to love one another. Not only for our own interest, but because we are following the footsteps of Jesus. We are doing the commandment Jesus had commanded us before she died. The fourth word Jesus spoken are Eloi, Eloi, Lama Sabachthani or My God, My God Why last forsaken me why did they abandon me father why did they abandon me he says you can find that it mark 1534 Jesus himself being a hundred percent human and hundred percent God experience and feel being abandoned being neglected he feel alone that's why he's calling upon his God he's calling upon God his father why have you abandoned me but because of his obedient still he obey his father for our sake for our sins to be forgiven and to be for us to be rescued so ask for our forgiveness ask for our cleansing we have to seek him continue to ask for his continuous protection guidance counsel comfort in times of suffering and feeling be abandoned feeling alone 
just seek and ask God. If you are alone now, you feel abandoned now, seek God. For Jesus himself experienced and suffered, but still he seek God. The fifth word of Jesus Christ is, I thirst. The reason that he give him vinegar to drink because vinegar serves as anesthetic so he will feel numb and he will not feel the pain but because he is obeying his father to die for our place he did not drink the vinegar but instead continue to hang on until his last breath the sixth words of Jesus Christ is it's finish or it is finish in John 19 verse 30 which his work here in earth and the saving grace that he had done on the cross is finish so it's up to us now to obey or to continue and seek for his grace that he had done on the cross so everything is finished on the cross so brethren it's up to us the seventh or last word he had spoken is Father, unto you I commit my spirit. So, for us, let's commit our spirit to the Lord. Let's give our life to the Lord. For he died for us. He shed his blood for us. And he said, it's finished. So the work of the enemy in our life is finished. So let's keep our life, keep our time, and our relationship to God. God bless you. Please subscribe Creator's Breath. Thank you. Bye-bye and see you again.